Do you want to add a live sales notification to your WooCommerce store to increase your overall sales? Live sales notifications can enhance sales by up to 15%. So today we're going to teach you exactly how to set up a live sales notification for WooCommerce. First, we'll teach you how to set up TrustPulse in WordPress. Next, we'll create a live sales notification using TrustPulse. And finally, we'll connect your live sales notification to your WooCommerce store. Step number one is to get TrustPulse for your WooCommerce store. To do so, go to www.trustpulse.com, click the green Get TrustPulse Now button. You can start for as low as $39.50 per year. Once you've purchased the TrustPulse subscription, go to Plugins and click Add New. Next, in the search bar, type in TrustPulse, install the plugin, and activate. Once you've activated TrustPulse, click connect your existing account and you'll be brought to a login page where you'll simply use your username and password that you just created and you can log in. This will connect TrustPulse to WordPress and we're ready to start our campaign. Step number two is to create our live sales notification using TrustPulse. First within TrustPulse, you'll need to go to the upper right hand menu and go to sites. Here you can add a site and you can enter in your site name as well as your domain name where your live sales notifications will be showing. Make sure to save the site. Next, in the TrustPulse home screen, click the green Create New Campaign button. You'll first need to name your campaign, then you'll select the site that these live sales notifications will be loading on. At this point, you'll make the decision between two campaign types, Recent Activity or On Fire. Recent activity displays individual purchases made on your WooCommerce store and refers to the buyer by name. On Fire shows multiple purchases made on your WooCommerce store and shows the number of people who've made a purchase. For this tutorial, we'll be selecting recent activity. In design and appearance, you can choose the language of the notification. You can also change the default visitor name. You'll need to change the message text to reflect what product or promotion your live notification is notifying about. For the message link, this is where website visitors who click on the notification will be taken. So you might wanna bring them to a product page or a flash sale landing page. Additional settings you'll need to edit include the notification image. You can either have a map icon, the user avatar, pre-made icons, or you can even upload a custom icon. For this tutorial, I'll select this avatar. For notification position, you can select between bottom left and bottom right, as well as top left and top right. And next, you can also choose the corner style, either square or rounded. You also have the choice to make the notification compact or expanded. And the animation, you can choose for it to slide in vertically, horizontally, or to fade in. After the design, we'll click next step. In step three, we decide how to capture the sales activity. The two options are Auto Magic or Zapier. Auto Magic captures the activity taken exclusively on your site. Zapier can display actions related to your brand but taken on different websites, such as when someone leaves a Google Business review. For today's sales notification, we'll choose Auto Magic. In the drop down, decide where this activity will be taken from. This will most likely be from your checkout page since it's a live sales notification. And you'll scroll down and click next step. Here we have the display rules for where this notification will show on our WooCommerce store. You can display it on any page or you might wanna show it on specific product pages. In the notification settings section, you can decide if you'd like to show it on a delay, how long you'd like the notification to show, delay between notifications, and whether or not you'd like them to load on mobile and loop the notifications. Then click next step. And this will bring us to the publish screen. As you can see here, we have a message that our site is not actually connected. We need to copy this code and paste it into the body template of our WordPress site. To do that, there's a super easy hack. All you have to do is go to add new plugins and search insert headers and footers plugin. Click install now and activate it. Next, under settings, you'll see your new insert headers and footers plugin. Go there, and in the scripts in body field, paste in your TrustPulse code that you just copied. All you have to do at this point is save, and you're done. Go back to TrustPulse and click the green check now button, and as you can see, your site is now connected. 
Then all you have to do is click the green launch your campaign button. You can click to see a sample campaign on your site. This is how your live sales notification will look on your WooCommerce store. It can help you increase your sales by up to 15%. Want to take your WooCommerce store to the next level? You can't miss these two videos. Check out free shipping bars for WooCommerce and how to create a spin to win coupon pop-up for your WooCommerce store. You can't miss it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Optin Monster videos, the channel dedicated to getting you more conversions, email subscribers, and sales.